already, mother effer, what the F is going on? Okay, just working on my rap song for a second there. But anyways, welcome back to the 15th video, and hopefully we're going to be finishing up this chat.php file. So, the only other thing we have to do is we need to talk about two other modes. So, actually, let me just go ahead and copy this because I'm way too freaking lazy. So, else if mode equals this and we'll copy that later but anyways the next mode I want to talk about is delete and retrieve new and what this uh, function is gonna do is basically it's gonna delete all existing messages in the database so whenever you know you have your table and it's full of messages and you're like boy I wish I could delete those messages boom let's go ahead and grab a function that can do that all right, so let's look. Constructor, destructor, nope, delete all messages. Hmm, that one might come in handy. So actually, what we can do is just grab this. Actually, I'm not that lazy. I can just go ahead and do it. So copy delete all messages. And basically, whenever you're in the mode delete and retrieve messages, new messages, you're going to go ahead and call your chat delete all messages boom roasted that's all it does <clears throat> so basically send and retrieve new messages that's what that mode does and delete and retrieve new messages deletes the messages and uh, the last mode I want to talk about is this else if the last mode and this is let's see I E V E retrieve new hopefully I spell retrieve correctly now what retrieve new is going to do is whenever you're in this mode what it's going to do is the job of this is to get the last i or excuse me to get the id of the last message retrieved by the client so how do you do this it's very simple the only thing you need to do is you need to set id equal to post id because remember this id right here what it's going to do is it's going to look at your what you're looking at on the interface so it's gonna look at the chat room and it's gonna get the most recent ID and it's gonna set ID equal to that so basically whenever you're in retrieve new the ID that gets set here is the ID of the last message you're looking at now the weird thing about this is this could be different for every user depending on when their chat room updated so for example if my chat room updated an hour ago I'm gonna have a different ID as yours that just updated and depending on what value we send to the database that's how the program knows which messages to send you back it it kind of may be confusing right now but once you see this program running it, you're gonna go ah, oh, and you know you're gonna have all these epiphany moments and you're probably gonna leave your job because you're like what am I doing with my life this ID that's where it's at I need to go out I need to move to Italy and find a girlfriend what the heck am I talking about let's just get to the tutorial so the only other things we have to do are just some simple housekeeping stuff um the next thing is clear the output buffer so if OB and I think we did this before get length so basically is if that has any length at all then just go ahead OB clean and these of course are built-in functions to clear the output buffer and you can actually move that all on one line might be a little bit cleaner now after this I actually wrote all these headers in a separate file I'm just go ahead and copy those and paste all these in save uh, me a little bit typing so like the comment says right here headers are sent to prevent browsers from caching now let me give you guys a real quick five second overview of caching caching is when your browser saves things to save on loading time for example whenever you go to a website like um, <coughs> say you go to like eBay or something well you don't need to request that logo every time or else it would just be you know a waste of resources so instead your browser saves that logo and then it just you know displays on your computer so basically in order to prevent this from a chat room because we don't want to save anything in a chat room it's always dynamic it's always moving you're always getting new information in order to prevent the problem of browsers storing things 
which may make your chat room freeze up we need to send your browser headers and headers are just you know um, it's like pieces of information that your browser looks at so that's how you do that if you ever have a problem with any web application uh, caching when you don't want to send it a header it should be good or send it these headers and the last thing I want to do is echo chat get actually I can go ahead and get new messages now as you can see it takes the parameter ID and we want to pass it in our own ID so of course the last thing we want to do in our chat room is get new messages why do we want to do that well if we look at this what happens whenever we call this method <coughs> man I need a freaking cough drop or something what happens when we get this message is we say okay this is the last message I saw if there are any new messages after that then please display them retrieve them from the server get them from the database and give them to me so again if we take a look at this entire um, file it's very simple we have basically three different things that our chat room can do it can send new messages it can delete messages which of course you need to do that unless you want a million messages on your table and it can just retrieve new messages <coughs> which pretty much means get any new messages from the server so those are the three main things it does and at the end it always gets new messages because no matter if you just sent one deleted one or you're just you know sitting there and you wanna you know you don't feel like typing you're too lazy you just want to read other people's messages it can do all of those things so that's why we always end it with get new messages and of course this is pretty much the main interface or the main piece of the puzzle that ties all of these individual pieces together so now that we're done with that we actually have to write one more um, it's like a teeny little PHP file and it's just for getting the color so you know you know what color to send right here but once we're done with that we have to work on uh, the like boring HTML stuff actually it's not boring it's actually pretty cool like the CSS file so you know everything displays properly the main core HTML file and the JavaScript file because you can't have Ajax without JavaScript and right now we only have PHP and that's it so that's what we have left four more Actually, three more small files, one more big one. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to join Bucky'sRoom.com, and I will smell you guys later.